Hi guys, welcome back to Crypto Mischief. Richie here with yet another video on my favorite thing in the whole world. God damn cryptocurrency, that's right. And today we're talking about not just Manor Farm because the journey is almost over. Those short two weeks we've had here have been fantastic. What gains? I did make this video just as it um as it opened and I was suggesting in a five minute video the, the way that I'm going to be capturing my gains. And I decided to make another five minute video about what you're supposed to do now that Manor Farm is closing and we're moving into Animal Farm Layer 2. So in this short five minute video, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do. Before we do that, let's just check on the farm. She's been going quite well. We're up to about $96 right now on this revolution token from about 30 or $40 a few days ago. What a moon, God, I was, I told you this was gonna happen. So now we're possibly at the peak, it might go higher. I heard someone say $500, I heard someone else say it's crashing. I don't know what to do. So that's all good in there. In the farm section, I have a bunch of pairs. I have Rev BNB, I have Rev BUSD, I have Drip, I have USDT BUSD, Dot. you know, I've got a bunch of pairs, all going very well, churning out some tokens. Very good, all good, lots of profits, made loads on this farm. Now we need to move, right? So at $96, uh, Rev Token has about $10 million of liquidity now, ready for the move from layer one to layer two, and we need to deal with our tokens. Do we break them all up? Do we move them all out? How are we gonna do it? Let me show you. So Forex was on a video call just earlier today explaining exactly what you have to do to get from layer one to layer two. And I'm just gonna be doing pretty much verbatim what he said to make sure that everyone gets it, okay? So layer two, the, the animal farm, pretty much this explains it. We have the governance token, pigs, and the reward tokens, dogs. Dogs also have amazing tokenomics really cool tokenomics. I'm going to make a follow-up video on that in the next couple of days. You're going to find out about that. And pigs is going to be your key to getting stable coins. Lots and lots of stable coins. And both of them help you own this farm. Yes, you heard me right. Tuesday's migration phase from layer one to layer two. Everyone who uses revolution token or rev to migrate over to layer two will be a share owner of Animal Farm. The key date you need to remember is Tuesday the 18th of January at 11 a.m. EST. A 48 hour window timer begins. Emissions will be stopped when that timer comes up. So that means you're not getting any more Rev token. There will be no more Rev token ever minted. You need to unstake from the farm. All your tokens need to unstake from the farm. People that hold Rev liquidity, like I do, Rev BUSD, Rev BNB, should unpair that liquidity. For example, as I put here, Rev BNB. Then you can use that BNB, once you've unpaired, to buy more Rev. Yeah. Prepare for the layer two animal farm presale with more Rev. That's what I'll be doing. Not financial advice, you can do as you want. You'll be unpairing, you can move around your portfolio, do as you wish. I'm just gonna, I'm pretty bullish on this. I'm gonna just head forward like a bull. Other tokens, Drip, BUSD, uh, the ones I had were stablecoin ones. Uh, you know, any of the other pairs that are not Rev, you don't have to split that liquidity. You can simply unstake, put it aside and wait for layer two to open, then take those pairs and put them back into the farm. You don't have to unstake those pairs. You can use them in layer two. Information on the presale then. The public and private raises, they are to protect against bots, those who want to game the system, we're protecting against them. The public sale, Rev tokens will get a 20% better exchange rate and there's no cap on getting into the presale with your Rev, which means you every single Rev token, every last one can go into the presale and get 20% off or 20% better price on the dogs token and the pigs token, you're gonna get them both. This is the first time I've heard of that a community and a public get a better deal than the private investors. At the end of the 48 hour window, Thursday, the 20th of January, liquidity will be removed by the team from the Rev token, then migrated to layer two. At the moment, Rev at $98 has about nine to $10 million worth 
of liquidity that will be moved into layer two. The capital I'm talking about is being moved over there. That capital is then being paid out to those that stake the dogs and the pigs in layer two. This is only accessible through staking. So see what's happening here. They're taking all of the liquidity from Rev Token and putting it into the farm for all of us who get into the pre-sale to get that money. $10 million, possibly more, possibly less. Let's see what happens, hey? But that's a hell of a lot of money. All the capital that's migrated from layer one gets paid out to people in the form of buybacks and BUSD rewards in the pig pen. Pig pen's similar to the steakhouse where you put your rev token in there at the moment and get paid out BUSD. But the steakhouse had uh, about $500,000 worth of funds in there. Okay, that came from one of the pre-sales. But the pig pen is gonna have nine to 10, maybe possibly more million dollars inside of there. So for example, if there was $100,000 of rev in the LP pool, 60% gets paid out to pigs governance stakers in the pig pen, which could be 50, 60, 90 days of continuous payment to all of us stakers, pig stakers in BUSD. Then 40% of that is used for buybacks uh, split between dogs and pigs token. So then you're thinking, maybe I'll just sell and then get into the BUSD raise instead of the rev raise. I mean, you don't get 20%, but you know, maybe it's safer. But you gotta remember this, that almost actually every single raise that Forex has done has been sold out in about a minute. The Manor Farm ones were sold out in under a minute. For rev, you have endless amounts of time to get into there. Well, not endless, two days to do it. For the BUSD one, it's probably gonna be about a minute. I don't think your chances are very high there. Then that means in layer two, you will not have a position. If you sold your rev now, you're gonna get capped on how much you can put into the raise. Possibly you're not even gonna get there. So then in layer two, you will not have a position in the pig pen. Sellers of rev are missing out on the opportunity where you could get that same BUSD from the pig pen and get a better starting position in the farm. What this means is if I go in with all my rev right now, say I take $50,000 worth of rev, right? And I get better price on pigs and dogs. Then I take all those pigs and I put them in the pig pen. Two months from now, I'm probably gonna have been paid back all of that BUSD from the pig pen. Plus I'm gonna have the pigs and I'll still have the dogs. That's my thing. Long game. It's a long game. Chess. Degen chess. So there you have it. There's the dates you need to remember. Tuesday, the 18th of January at 11 a.m. EST, which again for me is like three in the morning. It's gonna be another one. <laughs> the 48 hour window will begin then, giving us our opportunity to start unstaking rev, unpairing rev, buying more rev, trading it in for layer two. Okay, so my next video is gonna be up in the next few days about the tokenomics of dogs and pigs. They're amazing. And also about the really special emissions of layer two of Animal Farm because it's unlike any farm you've ever seen before. It's amazing. Can't wait to do it. See you guys soon. Peace. Don't get wrecked.